Hello good people of YouTube, All About That is back with another video. How are you guys doing? I'm not bad today, I'm a little bit tired, I have a bit of a dark circles, a bit of dark circles going on here. I was up early this morning at the flea car boot, however you say it, flea market, um, picked up a couple of items, it wasn't the best I have to say. Um, but you know a couple of items is better than not so I'll show you those in just a second but we are here also to talk about the Supreme Nike SB Gato if that's how you pronounce it Gato um, collaboration um, so we'll get into that in just a second but if you are new to my channel and you like what I'm doing then please please Give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a share and all that good stuff. I would so, so appreciate it. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Okay, just before we get into the Supreme stuff, I want to show you a few bits that I picked up over the weekend that are going on or have already gone on high peak vintage clothing. So let me just show you those bits. It was, it was, a, quite, um, it was quite a day for kid stuff actually on Saturday so I got look at these look at these beauties I got a pair of Jordan 1's kids look at the condition of these I mean obviously kids grow up fast so you know their shoes are never going to be particularly battered but these look like they've been really really looked after so these are a size eight and a half UK, nine C US. So those are actually on the site at the minute. So if you want to see a load of good pictures of these, then check out the website. Lacoste polo shirt. And again, these look hardly used at all. This one's an age six, nice little stripy number and this one is a 12 age 12 uh, it's just a plain green polo shirt so picked up those and again they just don't look like they've been used very strange very... are these now these are unbelievable they look at the condition no stain they look brand new 1989 NFL mugs. So I've got a Dallas Cowboys, I've got a Chicago Bears, all 1989, so they've all got the, the year on there. And then we've got the New York Yankees, uh, New York Yankees, that's baseball. New York Giants, again, the date. And to be honest with you, I don't think these have seen a dishwasher because there's just no, no fading on them at all. So those are on the site as we speak. Um, this is a Levi's stripy pocket tee. Really nice condition. Looks fairly worn. In fact, it had a bit of a part of a tag label in there, so. I'm not even sure whether it has been worn. Um, that's a size large. So we'll measure the pit to pit for you and that will be going on the site later today. The other piece that I have is a Ralph Lauren. Yeah, it's just a plain Ralph Lauren tee. Um, and it's got, I think it's got the red guy on the horse there. I think it's red and navy, yeah navy and red which will be going on the site later on as well so those are the vintage pieces that i have that are new so we're up to date with that now let's get into this collaboration by all accounts it doesn't seem to be very popular i don't think it's that bad personally but we'll get into it now so supreme has worked with nike sb a new, a new version of the Gato. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong. The shoe features a calfskin leather upper with cushioned midsole, gum outsole, which I do like actually, I like the gum outsoles, 
I'm the lenticular. Oh Jesus! I'm the lenticular, lenticulus, lenticular, lenticular. The lenticular side panels made exclusively exclusively for Supreme. The Gator will be offered in four colorways, and that is dropping this Thursday. So the first colorway, and I will put some pictures up for you guys, is a red colorway. Now, I actually think out of all the colorways, this is the best one, personally. Um, it's not something that it's not something that I would probably wear. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, astroturf football trainers so something you'd play football in basically rather than skating yeah on you know on like the plastic pitches that's what it reminds me of um and then the next colorway is black this is the one that i think really looks like an old school astroturf football trainer that's what i think so i wouldn't wear black I just do, I wouldn't wear wear black. I feel like I was back playing football again, which, you know, if it's a sort of a leisure, you know, trainer you're gonna wear day to day, I, I yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy the black. Definitely not. The next colorway is pale blue, which is softer, I suppose. It's it's not too bad. It's probably my third favorite no it's not no I'm lying to you I'd say it was probably my second yeah and then the next colorway is white uh, the white's okay uh, I'd say the black and the white are my least favorites which is unusual because ma mainly black and white are the, probably the most popular colorways when supreme drop stuff um, yeah, the white, is, I don't know, it's just not, it's just not my thing. If I was to buy one, I would buy the red. Yeah, I would buy the red. The only thing I like about the black is the, this sort of the purple lines that are behind the swoosh. But otherwise, it's a bit meh. It's not really something that I would buy. I don't think it's going to be massively hyped. I don't think. But you never know. The Don C's, the Jordan 312's he brought out. They were slated. Slated. And then when they dropped, they sold out. In America, anyway. So, yeah. It's hard to tell, but I, from what I've seen on Instagram so far, I would say that it's not going to be a, a particularly hyped drop this um, but anyway let me know down in the comments what you think about it and if you were to buy one what is your favorite colorway mine is definitely the red I also like the yellow that they've used on the back with the world famous I like that on the red but but I won't be getting them number one they don't drop they don't drop my size on supreme anyway if they do drop, it'll be on Nike and they may go down to a five and a half, but I probably won't be getting them anyway. So that is the collaboration this week. I am looking forward to seeing what they are dropping lookbook wise on Thursday. <sighs> Hoping they don't drop the core jacket because I really can't afford it this week. I have coming for you guys a good couple of unboxings I've got a really cool Nike one coming up and I've also got a Supreme one I did go ahead and buy another item on Supreme at the weekend I need to stop doing that <laughs> I need to stop anyway so that is what's coming up this week also I will be you know keeping bringing you the thrifted items I will be keeping showing you the vintage stuff that I have and what's going on High Peak Vintage Clothing. I am really hoping that my my merch comes. 
because I am dropping a really limited amount of High Peak Vintage Clothing t-shirts if you didn't already know they will be coming I'm hoping this week they did say a week it is bank holiday today so I'm hoping I'm gonna get an email on Thursday ish um, so yeah I want really really desperate to show you those um, but anyway that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your continued support you guys are brilliant I love you lots and all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys <laughs>